welcome to 5024 Steam at Home. Today, we'll be making a oscillating woodpecker with stuff you can find at your house. The first thing we're going to need to make an oscillating woodpecker is a piece of cardboard. I'm using an old cereal box for it. You're also going to need scissors, a straw, an elastic band, scotch tape, and a writing utensil. I also recommend using this template which you can find at this link. The first thing you're going to need to do is cut out the woodpecker and the wings from the template. Now that I've cut the woodpecker and the wings out of the template, I now need to trace them on the cardboard. When you trace the woodpecker, make sure that your tracing is slightly bigger than the actual woodpecker. This gives you space in case you make errors when you're cutting it out. Cut your woodpecker out of the cardboard, you want to roll your tape into two pieces of double sided tape to place on the woodpecker. So I've made two and you put them on there on each side where a bird will be. You then take your woodpecker and place it onto the cardboard and make sure it's secured by the tape just like that. You now want to cut off the excess cardboard from the woodpecker. When you're done, it should just be the woodpecker like this. You want to fold your woodpecker in half. So on mine, I have a line that shows you where you want to do it. So it doesn't have to be exact, but it should be around that point. So I folded mine in half like this. I now want to take a piece of tape and then turn it into a roll again. So it's double sided and then put it on the bird so we'll hold it together just like that. You now want to take your straw and cut about one inch off of it. With this one inch you want to take it and tape it to the fold that you created earlier. Just like that. So we now want to put our wings that we cut off earlier onto the bird. So, we take the tape rolls that we made earlier as well, and we put those onto the bird, like this. And then put the other one on the other side, like that. And then we take our elastic and cut it so that it's now a straight line. We then want to put it through our straw. We've now made our oscillating bird. Thanks for watching. Tune in on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for more Steam at Home.